Right, so here's three good reasons why you need to get your roof cleaned properly and reproofed. Um, you may not be thinking about yourself uh, owning the car forever, but somebody one day is going to want to own that car after you, unless you do, of course, keep it forever. Um, but most of the time there's going to be another owner in the line and you're somewhere in that line. Um, what most people don't realise is, of course, the new owner, the new person that might be looking for that roof. And it could be you right now that's looking for a car with a good roof. And the reason they want a good roof is because they don't want to end up having to pay for a roof to be fitted to the car while they own it. Now, just to give you an idea, to get the hood cleaned and reproofed, anywhere between 200 and 400 pounds, depending on all the different coatings and different options there are, um, a new roof can be anywhere between £600 for a small two-seater, maybe, uh, you know, they range from six to £800 for a roof, and then for a four-seater and a bigger one, they can go from that to two, three thousand pounds And you don't normally find this out until you realise that the roof's got a little split in it or something's wrong. So there's one good reason why you need to look after your roof. One, because you don't want to uh, be selling your car in the future and then somebody's looking at your roof and you haven't looked after it. The other one, of course, is it doesn't look very good. Having a roof that looks green and horrible, every time you clean the car, the roof looks awful. And, you know, you, <laughs> you, you, you give a car a good clean and polish up and whatever you want to do with it. Even you take it to our friends who give it a good wash and the roof is affecting its appearance. So, you know, we do have convertible cars so that we get that feel-good factor, but you sometimes have to have the roof up. So a green and horrible roof is not the best thing to have. Um, the last one is, of course, the car needs to be waterproof. And, you know, OK, so they don't really let water straight through. A few do, but very few. Most of them are neoprene. They've got a sandwich of rubber. Well, it's not really rubber, the neoprene, like a wetsuit. But they put the fabric on the outside so that the it looks better you know if you made a roof of rubber it looked awful you know it's a bit like you know the old-fashioned wetsuits you know so you want it to uh, be waterproof so if you're cleaning it you want to clean all the rubbers all the way around the edges because that's where the water normally comes in and sometimes it can be a little split or something like that and water can get in where they fold and that's normally because the grit and dirt is right in that fabric where it folds. And that's how often you end up going to look for getting a new roof because you think, oh, well, there's something wrong, little thing needs stitching. But of course, then the trimmer will tell you that you need to get a roof because by the time you've spent the time and labour taking it off and putting it back on for him to repair it, you might as well put a new roof on. So you want the roof to be waterproof for lots of reasons. Um, you know, the rubbers butt up against the top of the screen. When you're sitting there and you press your button, then it goes, you know, that gap there is where the roof is butting against the top of the screen and there's lots of other seals all the way around. So you want to give your roof a real good clean and when you clean it, you need to make sure you clean all those gutters and all of those bits to make sure that it doesn't let water in during the winter months when you don't want water getting in your car. A lot of people would tell you that they had a convertible, they loved it, it was great during the summer, but during the winter it was always steaming up, it was always a bit of a nightmare, it got, even got mould on the ceiling. So you want to make sure that the roof is nicely clean and kept for these three reasons. One, you're going to have to sell the car. Two, the car roof will look horrible without the rest of the car. The car's clean, the roof looks horrible. And three, you want it to be waterproof, of course, going forward. One bonus tip, don't go to our friends with the pressure washers. You can normally tell those roofs because they've got all zigzags all over them. If you're going to clean the roof properly, you need to buy the kit, you need to get your sleeves rolled up. There are varying different options you can buy on the internet. Most of them are quite good. The bit I will tell you about is that it is harder to clean than you think. So once the, car, once the roof is nice and clean, or if you've got one that's fairly new, start cleaning it early. Don't wait till it's all green and got the grit and dirt in it. Get cleaning before it's too late. Otherwise, take the car to a professional company and ask them to clean it properly. If they've got these pressure washers, they're going to put zigzags all over it because you're asking and you're thinking to give them an extra 20 quid while you're at the car wash. 
think again, we get a lot of cars here where people have done that and you know, the guys are just zig zigzagging it and getting that pressure washer. I don't know if you're aware, but if you put a pressure washer close to your hand, it will take your skin off. So if you put a pressure washer close to your hood and you do that, that's when you get the zigzag. Some of those zigzags are not just zigzags in the dirt, they're zigzags and marks on the actual fabric. So just be careful.